Just purchased a Unitrend UT71D off of eBay. That's what the package looks like when it arrives from Hong Kong. What we got inside the package, let's take a look and see what's inside. This digital multimeter comes with a lot of accessories and a pretty nice case. They call it their intelligent digital multimeter because it comes with an RS-232 interface. It's auto-ranging, has a DC, AC, true RMS capability, voltage current, resistance, capacitance, temperature, frequency, duty cycle, memory, has data logging capabilities. The resolution of this meter, it's actually got three displays. The primary display is 40,000 counts. That's about four and three quarter digits or 15 bits of resolution. Uh, the secondary displays are 4,000 counts apiece. Let's uh, take it out and see how... So you get a bunch of stuff uh, with the meter here. Basically there's the meter, your RS-232 cable, 9 volt battery, meter leads, um, alligator clip adapters, looks like you get a thermocouple, the disc, so you can hook it up to your PC to do data logging, a manual, and the seller in this case, uh, 409shop.com, included a bunch of uh, his own paraphernalia, pen, and hey, a nifty little light. But uh, yeah, found this on eBay, and he had about the best prices I could find, $137 plus shipping for the D the battery in it. Let's turn it on, see if it lives. Yeah, it comes up. And we'll hook some leads up to it and do some testing with it. Yeah, with these meters, because it has so many digits, they actually put a bar graph on the bottom because it takes a while for the last digit to settle out, so they sort of give you a bar graph there, too. Alright, looks like uh, everything's functional. We'll hook up some leads and check it out. And yeah, I've got it here, uh, HP 3478. You can see pretty close to, close as you can get to 10 volts, 9.9995. And we'll hook up the Unitec meter, see what it says. Try to hook it up. And we get okay, next up AC volts. I shoved the leads into a power strip. And we come up with 124 volts at 60 hertz. Okay, the next thing we have is frequency. We turn the dial to Hertz, press the blue button to get the second function, and we're reading 10 kilohertz here, and that's coming out of this Cronheit generator. Taking a look at it with another counter up here. Your butt looks pretty good. Here we are at 100 kilohertz. That's pretty much what we get on the meter. Here we are, two and a half megahertz, and that's what we got on the meter. And here we are at thirty megahertz. That's about the range for this crown height, and that's what we got here. Okay, next we're going to look at a eight ohm, hundred watt load resistor used for loading down audio power amps, and there we are, eight ohms. Okay, so from the ohm scale, if we hit the second function key, we can go to uh, audible test, touch the leads together, it makes an audible sound, and then if you hit the function key again, you get a diode test. <coughs> okay, so we'll put the red lead on the anode and the black lead on the cathode, and you can measure the forward voltage drop of a diode, about six tenths of a volt. So that's a good diode. Okay, next we're going to look at the capacitance function. I've got a 2200 microfarad capacitor hooked up to my reference tester here, a B and K capacitance sorting meter, and uh, it's about 2000 microfarads. Let's see what the unit tech can see. We're in the capacitance function, and right about 2000 microfarads. Okay, the temperature probe function, 
uh, current tests. I'm not going to do those, but you get the idea. It looks like a very good meter, very reasonable price, and I'm sure this will become my new standard workhorse here.